The next modulator device I want to look at is the audio sidechain device. We can use this to receive audio from any other place in our project and have the volume of that audio modulate some parameter someplace else in our project. This is a great way to make certain things react to what's happening, the sounds that are being generated in our song. Now, I think a good way to utilize this would be maybe generating some sort of rhythmic hi-hat pattern and having that hi-hat modulate some other parameter on a polysynth. I have my drum beat here, my drum machine. Let me solo this. And right now I'm not using the hi-hat. So I'd like to be able to use this, but I want to be able to very quickly and easily generate a rhythmic pattern with my hi-hat. So I'm going to go to my trusty arpeggiator once again. I'm going to click here. I'll put my arpeggiator device before the hi-hat. And now if I play the hi-hat, it's going to play every 16th note. But I can adjust the gate settings here to make it so that the rhythm is a bit more varied and not so repetitive. I can also adjust the velocity as well. I'm going to make this 16 steps long, and I'm just going to just kind of randomly change the pattern that will be generated here. And I'm going to go into the clip that I have here. And where's my hi-hat? My hi-hat's here. I will create a note that's going to last a full eight bars. So if we play this right now, the pattern that we're getting is because that one long sustaining note is being fed to this arpeggiator. The arpeggiator generates another note every 16th note. And when the gate parameter is all the way down, we're basically muting or ignoring that step. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna to go to my polysynth that I have here. Let me make sure I mute this other polysynth. If we play this right now, it doesn't sound like anything because this track is soloed, so let's unsolo that. All right, that's our sound. I brought the mix parameter on blur down a bit so it's a bit more subtle. And I think it'd be really cool if that hi-hat on our drum machine track modulated the oscillator sync of oscillator two. I think that would be awesome. So let's bring in our audio sidechain modulator, which is right here. Select that and I will hit okay. So looking at this modulator slot, if I click this arrow here, we can see at the top it says device input. So I have to choose some sort of input source that will feed audio into this modulator. I wanna get my hi-hat for my drum machine. So I see drum machine here. I see drum machine out and drum machine chains. I don't wanna get audio from the entire drum machine track just from the hi-hat. So I'll go to hi-hat post here and coo. So if I play the drum beat, now we see just the hi-hat is being fed into the audio sidechain device. If I want this to be a little bit higher, I can increase this gain knob here. So now we're getting more input into the audio sidechain device. Of course, we have our attack and release, so how quickly this is going to react. And if you are grabbing audio from something that has a lot more frequency content, you can use these two different knobs here to basically limit the range, the frequency range, that will trigger the modulation. In my case, I want everything up here. So that should be just fine. So the next step is to assign this to whatever we want to be modulated. So let me click here. I will assign this to oscillator sync. And now we see how that's reacting. Now we don't hear anything yet because I'm not playing the notes. So let me play it. It's pretty cool. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and record this inside of a clip. All right, so with this happening, what I'm gonna do now is go back to the drum machine here. The whole reason I chose the arpeggiator as opposed to just drawing in a hi-hat pattern into a clip is because now it's very easy for me to change the pattern of the hi-hat and therefore change the modulation rhythm that's being applied to the oscillator sync for oscillator two. So let's go back here. And let's say I'll just solo the hi-hat for the drum machine. Now I'll just change some of the settings here for the gate.
So a very easy way to get a parameter to react to some other sound that's in your project. Thank <laughs> you.